dream so I can't be out here living stupid I love hard so you can say I was shot by Cupid Say less but every now and then I drop my two cents loaded up some film now and uh, I think we're gonna shoot around this area it seems like the grass is like really nice sun's out and um I heard you injured yourself yeah, I broke my nose you broke your nose this guy here mm-hmm Alright, happened earlier this month. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I'm just recovering from it. Yeah. I went back to work from last week. Mm -hmm. Had like two weeks off, which is pretty nice. Damn. How'd you break your nose? Playing soccer. I got kneed in the face. See, when you messaged me, I thought yeah. I thought um, someone like hit you in the face with a ball. Mm. And I was telling my friend at work, like, oh, my mate, he broke his face from a soccer ball. And he's like, what? There's no way. Right. No, I could just yeah, bounce no off way. your face. It will. Like, yeah, I just got kneed. Um, Got knocked out. It's a good experience. I woke up with a big headache. That's what I realized. The, the nose was okay. Like, yeah, it was busted up and stuff. I'm sure you couldn't, like, the adrenaline and adrenaline and shit. Yeah, the probably rush. Probably wouldn't yeah, feel it, right? Yeah. yeah. But work, as soon as I woke up from getting knocked out, my brain was the biggest headache of my life. You get concussed? Yeah, I got concussed. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty bad. And, like, the next, the following one or two days, it's just a headache. Other than that, the nose was okay. I was mm -hmm. on painkillers, so. Damn, bro. It was high off endo and codeine and stuff. Nice, yeah. dude. It's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, nice. Did you, uh, did you get prescribed any meds? Like, um, how, wait, how long were you in hospital for? Oh, no, I was there um, a night and then they sent me home to come back. On the same day? No, they come back um, two, three days later. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then, but they couldn't do anything because of the swelling. It was right. All sort up. So, mm -hmm. I had to wait a week and a half to get, and then got a little surgery to realign it and to help me breathe. Oh yeah, true. Your yeah. nose is like straight now. Yeah, before that it was kind of yeah. I saw in the side. picture. Yeah. Um, then it's all shattered inside, but on the outside it looks alright. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. So I need to get another surgery later. Oh really? Later, later down the line. Yeah. Damn, that sucks. It does. Does your nose just like just it naturally feels, heal? Like it doesn't heal, but. Um, yeah, I need that surgery. I can't smell right now. No way. Yeah, bro. So like nothing. Can you even taste this? I can taste. You I can, can taste, taste, but yeah. no smell. But no smell. Um, apparently that comes back in about two, three months. So hopefully. It's like hopefully, it's like having crossed. COVID. It is. Yeah. Um, Damn. But yeah, when I had COVID, I, I hadn't I had no symptoms anyway. So like, oh. I can't relate to it. But Fair enough. having no smell, like getting ready in the morning, and like just everyday life, you're like you realize how much you appreciate that sense of being able to smell. Being able to smell. Dude, I, yeah, I'd hate to live without it. It's like... Because, like, you eat with your nose and your eyes first, right? Yeah, man. you see your food and then you, like, you like smell and you're like, oh, yeah. oh, it's so good. And, and like, it. a couple of weeks ago, like, one or two weeks ago, I went to this Lebanese place and they had all those, you know, those... They have their bread. And they have, like, those dips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, could, I know they're, like, hummus and, like, the garlic ones. And mm -hmm. like, but there's a few other ones that I didn't know. There's always like yeah, three like ones, random ones, what? right? <laughs> yeah, like yeah, they yeah. taste alright. They taste really good, mm -hmm. but I can't smell it. So I don't know if oh, I like if I'm tasting it correctly, or because it's a brand new taste to me. Right. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It was a, it was an interesting experience. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I see. I want to go back and taste it again after I get my smell. Maybe it will taste different. Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. But, yeah. Like the garlic and the hummus, like I know what it tastes like. So maybe I like I memorize all these tastes. Yeah. So I can still taste. Uh -huh. Like even coffee. Like I know the taste of it right, so right. I drink it yeah, right. some, somewhat helps but I don't know mm -hmm. if it's because my nose but we'll see man damn bro Oh, my 
my thought process is all gone now. Just take your time. Um. <laughs> is this for your vlog? Hey, so I just finished up the photo shoot with Kevin. We grabbed some food afterwards. Um, yeah, honestly, it was really fun uh, shooting like a sports sort of themed photo shoot. And um, yeah, I'm really into it actually. Maybe I'll do something else in the future. Maybe basketball or tennis. There's always some sports to, you know, photograph. But yeah, Kodak Gold 200. That's the new film stock that I tried out today. And yeah, honestly, I'm quite thrilled. Excited to see the results because I can already envision how they're going to look. Um, so yeah, I might go develop the film in the next couple of days. Really excited to see how it turns out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. These are my memoirs. Light up a cigar. Smoke up the memories as I sit and dust them off. Why do people say it's just to piss you off? Ignore them, no call button, and then dress too far. Now they can't test the guards. Had to defy the odds. It only. So, my friend Adrian, he invited me to this warehouse party that I'll be going to tonight. So, I thought I'd bring my camera along, you know, and um, take some pics of what's going on. I figured. It'd be perfect to shoot this. Been saving this roll of film for um, a couple of months, actually. I just haven't found the opportunity to shoot Sinistil. This is um, this is really cool film, guys. Like, if you haven't shot this before, I'd recommend at least trying it out once. It's a little bit pricier than your typical rolls of film. Yeah, it costs twenty-four dollars in Australia, so um, yeah, not the cheapest, but the results you get are actually. Quite breathtaking and the, the simple fact that this film produces these beautiful glowing things on lights it's called halations and that's my favorite part of this film so I always try to shoot this with um, neon lights or just any LED lights because it really brings out the magic in this film um, I figured that well actually not figured I only have one film camera that shoots this 35 millimeter film and that's my Contax T2 um, this guy right here, beautiful little camera as well. I figured that I'd show all of you how to load this camera with film as well, so let's get to it. Uh. These are my memoirs, light up a cigar, smoke up the memories as I sit and dust them off. Why do people say it's just to piss you off? Ignore them, no call button, and then dress too par. Now they can't test the guards, had to defy the odds. It only get tougher back then, we thought times was hard. Told them don't write me off, told them don't type at all. To all the ones that gave up, this a reply to y'all. That wavy hair kid that you knew, been on a tear since. The cries was lower than the laughter, now that I'm here. All right. Uh, this is the next day after that party last night. That's kind of crazy. Um, the warehouse party kept going till like 4 or 5 a.m. But I left a bit early, like around 2, 2 a.m. I think. Um, yeah, I usually don't go out to parties and stuff like that. So it's quite exhausting. And yeah, I had a few things that I wanted to do today. But I ended up sleeping in till like the middle of the day. And that's like the worst thing. I actually hate it because I feel so like lazy. I feel like waking up in the morning at a good time sort of sets the tone for the rest of the day. So, having a big sleep in like that, I feel so lazy for the rest of the day. I really didn't do too much. It's already like 5pm, as you can or may not see, the sun's actually setting. So my friend Brad, he's booked out a studio and I'm going to go help him out tonight because he's doing some video work for one of his uni projects and yeah, I'm just going to go head over, I think uh, assist with modelling and maybe um, lighting stuff. We've got a studio booked for an hour, so it might be a tight squeeze but we'll try to get everything done. In that time and uh, I've got about an hour until then so I think I might do some editing get some work done try not to feel so lazy today and then um yeah get ready and head out just stepped in a big sh oh, Rex why do you do such big poos you're such a small dog
so uh, we made it to the studio with Brad. Hello. Um, what are we doing today, Brad? All right, so, yeah, basically, got some uni stuff due uh, very soon. Yeah. A bit too soon. Yeah. <laughs> um, basically, trying to get that done with Tats. Uh-huh. And then Amy and Chris over here as well. Yeah. This is actually after the shoot, so yes. um, there's no more pressure anymore, but... Uh, I think it went pretty well. Like yeah. for the time that we had, for the my light uh -huh. battery going out, for yeah. my SD card getting full, like I'm very happy with what we've got. Mm -hmm. um, thanks to all you guys. No, of course. Yeah, um, we're actually here with uh, our friends Amy and Chris as well. Do you want to say hi, Chris? Hello. Amy. Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, we're all in the shot. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, cool. <laughs>